Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Big Corleone of the This Man Heard Podcast. Coming to you with another episode of the Manic Minute. Two quick topics today, man. Some crazy shit. Y'all know Shakira, right? You know what I'm saying? My hips don't lie, Shakira. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, her hips are lying. She's saying she's paid her taxes, but the government is saying she owes $16.4 million in back taxes. Yes. She is going to jail if she loses the case, that is. I mean, she has to go to court and all this shit, but $16.4 million she owes in taxes. That means that she's been shaking her hips, shaking her ass for a long time and not paying the government for it. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I mean, how the fuck can you be that famous and not pay your taxes? Don't you, didn't you learn anything from Wesley Snipes? You know what I'm saying? He ended up in jail because of that shit. He did, he did a lot of time, too. I think he did like three years or some shit like that for tax evasion. Shakira, you're not built for prison. You're going to be shaking your ass a whole lot in there if you have to go. So you don't want to end up in jail. So pay your motherfucking tax. Pay that $16.4 million in back taxes because you're going to end up in jail. Damn, that's fucked up, man. These these people, but they think they can, they can cheat out the government by not paying their taxes, man. Government don't play when it comes to taxes. You don't pay that shit, you go to jail fucking foul that's crazy she's gonna be shaking her hips in jail it's fucked up pay your taxes man stop fucking around people pay your motherfucking taxes you will end up in jail now r kelly trial yo yesterday some dude took the stand and said some ill shit about r kelly some disturbing shit he said when he was 17 years old r kelly stepped to him and said what we what are you willing to do to be in the music industry or have to do with music or whatever and the dude said you know he'll do anything whatever he wanted to be in the industry or some shit like that and he went ahead and said that r kelly asked him have you ever had a fantasy about being with a dude he was like nah and r kelly went down on him and gave him head and he this happened when he was 17 years old when he was 17 this shit happened He went on to say that R. Kelly and him had a relationship and that it was ongoing. And R. Kelly asked him to call him daddy whenever they were fucking around and that they were connected and all this other ill shit. So not only was R. Kelly raping women, kidnapping women, forcing women into pretty much prostitution and slavery, he was fucking with dudes too. What, what's going on? This is the, is this, this is the same dude whose music we all loved and listened to, man. R. Kelly, R. Kelly is, he's, he, and let me tell you something. Don't be surprised. Do not be surprised. All this shit is alleged, by the way. All this allegedly happened. I ain't ain't saying it did happen. You can't say it did happen because he's on trial for it. You know what I'm saying? He'll be, he'll, he'll be judged to the highest extent of the law, but Don't be surprised if he get off, if he gets off of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't be surprised if he he, he gets set free. You know what I'm saying? Don't be surprised. But I'm just saying, he he, he, he should go to jail. He should do, he he should go to jail for everything that he's done to these women and to this dude. And who knows if there's even more people out there, more men, more women that he's fucked up and, and, and fucked over. You know what I'm saying? And, and manipulated and shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it's fucked up. It's it's crazy. It's it's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. Well, not really, because this world is sick. I'm beginning to use. I'm beginning to lose faith in humanity. To be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? Because this shit is crazy. A lot of ill shit going on, man. A lot of ill shit. You know? I mean, Shakira owes 16.4 million in back taxes. R. Kelly. The fucking pie pipe of RB. That let me taste. Oh, also, I think I said it in the last episode. I don't I don't know if it was if it's true or not. But the reason why he married Aaliyah, I, I'm not 100 percent sure on this, was because she was already pregnant and they wanted to get married and be together. So he he had her birth certificate um forged or some shit, a marriage certificate forged, a fake birth certificate, and all this other bullshit. Cause she was pregnant with his child. That that that's alleged also. But just think about it. This man used his power in the music industry 
to do to do all this wrong to all these people. You know what I'm saying? It just goes to show, man. You, you, it's so hard to trust anybody nowadays. You know what I'm saying? When you find somebody you trust and you believe in, and they trust and believe in you, stick with that person, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the bullshit. Because you don't know you don't know what the fuck what what agenda these people have nowadays, man. When you love somebody and you care about somebody and they love and they care about you, you know what I'm saying? Keep them people near you. Make shrink your circle if you have to. You know what I mean? Because it's it's hard enough to have to have good friends. It's hard enough to find good friends. So if I were you, just do yourself a favor. Check your circle. Minimize it if you have to. You know what I'm saying? Don't let people feed off your energy. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't let the vultures take your energy from you. You know what I mean? Because you know what? The more they they suck out of you, the less you're going to be of you. The less of you you're going to be. You know what I mean? I just hope that this world... I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about, man. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. This is why this is the Manic Minute. You know what I'm saying? Because... I can talk about whatever the fuck I want to talk about when I want to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? So just do yourself a favor. Just check your friends. You know what I'm saying? Make sure they're not draining your energy. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that you, yourself, are good with you and yourself. You know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean. Yeah, I hope you know what I mean. You know, and if you want to lend Shakira some money so she can pay her back taxes, hit her up. You know what I'm saying? Let her know you're going to help her out. You know what I'm saying? You want to pay R. Kelly's fucking lawyer fees, court fees. Nah, I wouldn't do that shit, but that motherfucker's going to jail. If you don't go to jail, man, it, it's it's crazy they let Bill Cosby go on a technicality. Bill Cosby's getting out of jail. Or he's already out, whatever. But if R. Kelly gets set free... He doesn't get convicted of any of these crimes. The justice system is fucked up, man. It really is fucked up. It really is. To let Bill Cosby go, knowing he did that shit, knowing he did what he did, they let him go on a technicality. He admitted that shit. It's not that he didn't. He they, they found him not guilty. He admitted that shit, but on a technicality, he got set free. Don't let this shit happen to R. Kelly, man. That motherfucker needs to be in jail. He's fucking with women and with men. That that's crazy. That's crazy. So anyway, this is Big Coleon of the This Might Hurt podcast. And this has been another episode of The Manic Minute. I'm out.